On the question, are you an antinatalist, some vegans would respond like this. I'm not an antinatalist and I think that moral progression is most important within the family structure and that when we propagate norms and ideological stances within the family that is probably one of the best ways to um, express a vegan ideological stance within society and that the if vegans were all antinatalists the chances are we would propagate suffering because we would not see an ideological shift within society because the vegans would die out um, ideologically so there you go children are little vegan soldiers who are going to fight in an ideological war for some idea of the future. We can imagine a scenario where a vegan couple births a few kids and don't even love them, but they invest time and money in making effective activists out of them. That sounds exploitative. What children can achieve is what's important and not love for the kids. I suspect that vegans wouldn't reproduce if they knew that their children would grow up to be non-vegans. There are even vegans who think that non-vegans shouldn't reproduce, while vegans are allowed to. It's all about what children of vegans can do for veganism, and that sounds exploitative. Other than that, vegans might be fine with all of the animal deaths and suffering which having children would cause so they could push their veganism forward, which is just sacrificing animals for an ideological goal, which could possibly be exploitative. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. And if they fail in some way, like imagine their child becomes non-vegan, then they gambled with the lives and well-being of others for nothing. So don't exploit sentient beings in one way or another and be an antinatalist.